An amazing new smartphone app created right here in the state of Illinois is giving those who are blind and visually impaired freedom that they have never had before. Take a look at how it works. Truly innovative. We've never had anything like that before. Mary Abramson is visibly excited over the new AWARE app. Abramson lost her sight as a child. With the app, she can not only locate a destination, but she can navigate inside a building. They not only know where it is and what it is, but how to get inside of the building. But just think about what that means when you are looking for the stairs and the subway or, you know, the... Uh, entrance to the jewel. Welcome to the Chicago Lighthouse. The app works by communicating with the phone's GPS and small beacons. In the building we have little tiny beacons which are Bluetooth devices that the phone can pick up. So as we walk and close to center. one, it'll, it sees the beacon right up here. And then when the beacon appears, it then shows on the screen. And the app can guide a user to the vending machine and read what's inside. Top row from left to right. One. Sprite 20 ounce. One dollar and sixty cents. Right now the technology is only located in the Chicago Lighthouse facility for the visually impaired. Main corridor entrance. But Abramson hopes that will change soon. The reliability of the information you can get with an app like this means the freedom to move around a lot more and gives us the confidence to move around a lot more than ever before. And the creator of that, Rasha Saeed, joins me right now, the creator of this amazing app from Springfield, Illinois. So Rasha, what inspired you to create this for folks? Well, first, thanks for having me. Sure. Uh, well, I have a son who was born with a genetic disease that let him lose his vision through time. And when we go to new places, I tend to be the audio guide for him. So I uh, tell him what's around, what we pass by, because I want him to enjoy the same things that sure. we do. I'm not just, you know, just walk around with n not knowing what's happening. So what hap I realized that what I do is basically read signs for him, because for him to know. Uh, but the, uh, the actually the exact tagging idea came to uh, came to me when we were visiting Disney World like three years ago, and it, it's Disney World is overwhelming and like the the uh, um, there's so much to to describe and talk about, and it, it became like exhausting. And, and at that time, I told my son like, imagine if there were tags that when you, you're next to an ice cream booth, it'll tell you it's an ice cream stand, there's an elephant ride, whatever that is. Exactly, yeah. So he said like, oh mom, this is too good to be true. Oh no, it's not too good to be true. I mean, wireless technology has gone so far, I'm sure there's something. So that's it, it became my obsession and, I, and just, just go from there. And you created a business where you will meet with, with other businesses and you will put these beacons around and you'll make it work, right? Yeah, this is how it works. Uh, these are like electronic devices. They're basically small stickers that you stick around the building, and then the app will rec will uh, detect those those tags when you pass by the area, and it will start talking and tell you what you pass by, and then if you want more description, it'll give you description about the area. I mean, we all we all can make images out of text description, and and same thing with blind people, if, even with people who are born blind. Um, uh, brain can actually make the image from a text description. So this it is, is just yeah. amazing, and, and it's the smartphone apps can do so much these days. And this app is available for anybody right now. Yeah, it's available on Apple Store and Android. So it's on both uh, Google Play and Apple Store, and it's free for the users. But the app, the, the thing is, the app, uh, the app won't work unless there are tags around. So what we're trying to do is get the word out, to tell businesses and all you know commercial buildings or like malls, museums. Navy Pier, whatever that is, uh, put the tags up so that anyone who's blind can visit and enjoy just like anybody else. Rasha, yeah. thank you so much for coming in. We really appreciate you and what thank you're you doing for, for folks. Thank you so Let's send it to